Hi and welcome to my videos. Uh, this is Dick Slashinger, pseudonym name. Uh, I'm also called First Defence on the Infinity Forums. This is in reply to um, a forum question. Uh, the person, uh, let's have a look, Incognito Mode, cool name, wanted to have a stroke on the outside of this black, but the black not actually be seen. You can do this quite simply by putting a an outline around it and then basically changing the uh, layer blend mode to screen and it will make the, the black transparent. But I thought we'd go a little bit further than that and actually literally remove the black and get a stroke around this edge. That'd be cool, yeah? Okay, the first thing is, we'll explain what all this this is. The font is called Demonized. It's got a fill of white and it's got a stroke of uh, seven, let's say, let's, let's say six pixel, uh, six millimeters. Uh, it's aligned to the inside at the moment. You can align it to there or the outside. But aligning it to the inside gives a little bit of space to put another stroke around it without all these points clashing. Uh, on here, you'll notice sometimes on sharp points, if I just drop the mitre, you get all this, this clipping of points. Adjusting the mitre will sharpen them back up again. Okay, that's just a little sort of side tip. So what do we need to do to get this outline? Uh, and the black disappearing. The first thing we need to do is we need to convert the the letter to a um, a curve. So we go to layer, convert to curves. We then go back to the layer and say expand stroke. Uh, if I turn the uh, the the white portion off, you've got this knockout effect. If I turn the black E off, uh, so, yeah, the black E, you have the white and it's underneath the black. Yeah, so where the black sits, there's also white, and we don't want that. We need that to be gone and this bit to stay. And the best way of doing that is you duplicate the layer because we're going to need that black E again. You select both the black E that you duplicated and the white E and go to geometry subtract. What that does is it punches that white where the black is out and if I turn that off now you'll see it's gone. You have to ignore this a bit. I'm using the 2011 iMac and the video is not super duper. So we'll come back to that. We turn the white E off and we've got the black E. Select the black E layer. Uh, if I apply a stroke to this now, the stroke will go along the outside, but it will also go along the inside. And we can show this uh, sticker a yellow stroke on. And I'll just up that, as you can see, and we don't want that. So we'll take the stroke off. Oops. And what we'll do is we'll make this a solid object. And the way that we make it a solid object is to tell affinity to divide it. We we'll go up to the divide portion of the geometry and as luck would have it, it's the only option. That basically fills it all in and then we need to just add these together to make a solid E. They're already selected so you don't know you don't have to touch the layers. And we go to geometry add. So now we've got a solid E, we've got a white E, which I'll turn on. It looks like we've done absolutely nothing, but we're getting there. So the next stage is we need to apply a stroke to this now. And because it's a solid E, won't put anything on the inside, it'll only put it on the outside. So let's apply a yellow stroke to that. Uh, what shall we go for? Say four. Let's go for four. 
and I don't want those round curves that doesn't look right to me at all so we'll have sharp curves and we need to bring these points back so go back to the mitre and up until you get all your points back you could probably adjust that down to 2.5 might work I know it doesn't knocks it out on that bottom bit so we'll go back up I'm pressing the up arrow key when I do that but you can just as easily just go into it and type 3. Okay, we we'll get off of that. So now we need to do the same thing again. We need to um, layer and expand stroke. Layer, expand stroke. So now we've got the black. And we need to get rid of the black. And it's very simple. You just put that in the bin. Turn the white layer back on. And now you have a yellow. You have no black. And you have white. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you want any more, just ask and I'll see what I can do if I've got time. Thank you very much.